Good day, all you wonderful people. Welcome to Adventure Together. My name's Al. Holy Roller and Red Panda. And today we are doing lots of fun stuff like crossing from Vermont into New Hampshire. And what else is going on? What's happening today? Where are we going? What are we doing? What's exciting? They're Hanover. Um, I'm gonna go eat at the Dartmouth Dining Hall. And what's so special about Dartmouth anyway? Uh, it's not special. It's far inferior to Harvard and I just want everybody to know that it's the worst of the Ivy League schools. It's like the Dollar General Harvard. Yeah, it's Harvard. the Dollar General Harvard. Dartmouth. What have you got against Dartmouth? I like to lord my Harvard education over all the other Ivy Leagues. <laughs> it's not Oxford or Cambridge though, is it? Though? Okay, objectively, I think that Harvard is the best school in the entire universe. Sorry. Isn't that subjective, not objective? No, it's objective. I ain't never been to Cambridge and I'm doing just fine. Nidling or O parking. Nidling or parking. Nidling O parking. The heat at the moment is absolutely brutal. It's in the high 90s Fahrenheit. It's like mid to high 30s in Celsius. As you can see, it's causing me to sweat profusely. Absolutely disgusting. Everything I've got is wet from sweat. And uh, it's the same for the other two. All week, it's been absolutely excruciating. The heat is sapping all the energy from our bodies, meaning that we can't tackle these obscene hills that Vermont seems to have it's just brutal yesterday we hit had to hit five or six of these hills that were about an hour of climbing um, almost straight up no switchbacks it was terrible we were exhausted barely made it to uh, Linda's Blue Barn which is where we stayed the night the humidity is off the scale it's like it's like Louisiana it's not Vermont, it's it's like Louisiana out here. It's so muggy, there's so many mosquitoes. And it sounds like I'm complaining, but I just want to get over to you how, how terrible it feels to be hiking in this heat and uh, the thick blanket of moist air that we're having to breathe in for hours and hours at a time. It's making everybody's feet hurt, making everybody irritable, um, running out of energy, as I said, sweating through everything, feeling a little bit gross. We're trying our best to get in the miles we can, but it just slows your pace so much when you're so exhausted from word go every day. There's a lot of talk at the moment about not doing the miles that we need to do to to finish on time so kind of have to get past that dark cloud I guess but it's just another one of the challenges on the trail when I first saw the sign I thought it was like the origin of man going through the different stages 
So it starts off there, learns to make fire, learns to put fire out, learns to use tools, and finally becomes a hiker. So we're now doing a road walk into Hanover and uh, it's even hotter being out under the sun. The forest at least takes the sun off of you but um, now I'm about to be run over. Ah! So Emily was saying about Bill Bryson living here in Hanover at one point in time. Give us a history lesson. Oh I don't know he just wrote about it in a walk in the woods how he was wandering around outside his house one day and he stumbled on the Appalachian Trail and that's how he learned about it so maybe we're walking through Bill Bryson's neighborhood. Crossing over the border Vermont and into New Hampshire state number 13 of 14 how does it feel, Holy Roller? Oh, it feels good. It feels good to be out of Vermont. Red Panda, give us your thoughts on state number 13. It's so overwhelming, he doesn't have words. Yeah. Vermont is a nice state. It's pretty, it's very hard. And uh, we're glad to get into New Hampshire, get into the lights. So So we made it to the Dartmouth Dining Hall for the all you can eat. It's going to be amazing. But what's amazing so far is being out of the sun and in the air conditioning. It's so good right now. So this maybe took a weird turn. Why are we in the Dartmouth University uh, college campus eating food? It's because they do a discounted buffet for hikers for lunch. So. The three of us have come here to fill our bellies for very, very cheap, uh, for a very, very cheap price. And uh, Rob has so far brought two plates of food back to the table and is running to get more. So I'm just watching the table while he's uh, he's off foraging for food. <laughs> I have been equally as piggish and uh, filled my plate beyond capacity. So they had a completely vegan station and everything you see in front of you is vegan. Vegan pizza, vegan stir fried tofu with sweet and sour sauce and vegan cookies and vegan Sprite. Vegan vegetables. Vegan vegetables. And vegan water. It's a lot of food that you've done there, Rob. Yeah, I've put it away. Cool and sleepy now. <laughs> it's a real post food coma. <laughs> Sorry to wake you up. That's so, so that's it, we passed the state line into state number 13 and we also crashed the Dartmouth campus for lunch today so that's it for me, thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next one. Caldwell Community College is the best community college on the face of the planet. And give Harvard a run for his money buddy. Southwest Virginia Community College is far superior to Caldwell Community College. <laughs> Southwest who? Like, who? <laughs> Caldwell, Caldwell. Caldwell sucks. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>